Hi guys, welcome back to Cricut Monday. Um, what we're going to do this week is I have a little container that I found at TJ Maxx and I paid like $6.99 for it and I wanted to make a decal with our Cricut that looks French country that I can put it in my kitchen. I think this is going to be so cute. So I already have design space loaded here. So I'm just going to go to the circle with the plus for the new project and click on that. That will put it to our canvas. Now to find this image, um, I already have mine saved, but you just go to images right here on the left. And I just typed in flower market sign. Okay. And then all these signs come up. A lot of them are not going to be what you want. But just keep looking through here and you will eventually find the one that I found. And you do have to be an Access member because it has the little green A's. Anytime you see that, you have to be an Access member. So I'm not going to take time and try to find it again because it took me a while just to scroll down through here to find it. But it's sort of on the order of these right here and the little A's. But it's not that one. So... What I'm going to do, since I already know which one I want, I'm going to Projects over here on the left-hand corner and click on that. And then I'm going up here to My Projects. And right here it is. And I'm going to click on that. Now, I've shown this many times. Um, if you want to make it just as it is, you would click on Make It right down here at the bottom in green. If you want to customize it, you would click Customize. And I want to customize mine. So I'm going to hit customize. And you'll see over here in the layers panel that it is a cut and print. That's what I want because I want to adjust the size of this. I think what I want is two and a half. I'm going to go up here to the, um, let me zoom in. It won't help at the top any. But up here at size, I'm going to go out from that and unlock that lock because I want a very specific size. I want, I think, 2.5 wide by four inches tall. And we'll see how that looks. I haven't looked at it to see what that will do. Okay, I think that will do nicely, okay? And I have others over here, if you're wondering in the layers panel why you can see so many other ones. I turned the eye off of them because I wasn't, and I'll show you what happens. If you click on this eye, it will appear right here. I was torn between a lot of these, so I just wanted to keep them saved, but I turned the eye off and you can't see it, okay? So what we're going to do is go to make it right top corner. And then I don't want to mirror my image at all. And I'm just going to hit continue, right bottom corner. And then I'm going to send it to the printer and I have my Cricut set on custom. I'm going to leave the bleed on and I'm going to hit print. Okay, now I'm going to, um, what I want to do is select my washi tape setting because it works the best I found with this. Okay, so the next time you see me, we will be cutting out this really cute decal with our Cricut. Okay, here is the little container that I picked up at TJ Maxx and it was $6.99. I've had it for a while. This is the front and I think that's really pretty, but I'm going to flip it around when I want something more colorful and spring-like or French country-like. I can flip it this way. When I want it this, I can have it this way. This also to me is French country, but I just wanted to dress it up a little bit and it'll be facing towards the back so no one will see, okay? So, what I'm going to do, now let me give you another trick. I, I realized that I was out of this silhouette printable vinyl. So, I had this left over from where I made these little designs on my computer. So, I just put it in like you have to load this upside down so I have to put this real shiny side up because you want to print it on this duller side. So I just put it in to where it would still print up here so you can use this sheet more than one time, okay? So I have my standard grip mat and 
we're just going to put this right on top like this. Then I'm going to load it inside my Cricut underneath this little lip. Hit the blinking arrow to load it. And the blinking C to cut. And then the Cricut will cut. And it's going to read this registration mark. I've never tried this, so I really wasn't sure if it would pay attention to this registration mark, but I don't think it will because it knows this is what it's printing and getting ready to cut. Okay, so now it's going to cut. So it's cutting now, so this is a good way if you're down to your last piece of the Silhouette printable vinyl, which I need to get some, you can use more than one sheet at a time. You can really recycle your sheets and save yourself a lot of money. So it's printing this out in a kiss then cut. That's why I use the washi setting, and it will peel off like a sticker. So when this gets through, Oh, and it's already through. Okay, so we will eject by hitting the blinking arrow. Okay, you'll want to take some rubbing alcohol to clean the side, the surface that you're going to put this on, and it'll adhere nicely now. And then you wanna make sure it's dry. And it doesn't take any time to dry, okay? So we'll set that over there. Then all we need to do, this, like I said, is just going to peel up like a sticker, basically. Just be really careful. This is exactly like I've made my planner stickers. I've shown this before. And if you get in little delicate areas, you can use this to kind of get it, get it going. But this is a really easy way, like if you have something at T, that you find at TJ Maxx and you think, oh, that would be so pretty, you could embellish it and make you something French country. That's what we have. I think that is adorable. Okay, so now I'm just going to stand up and we are going to place this right on here. And you can put it anywhere you want. I'm going to put it right, try to get it in the middle as best I can, and then just press down. Okay, I'll be right back and show you what this looks like. Okay guys, here it is. I think that turned out so adorable. It just looks so French country. I got the design from Cricut Design Space. It's very beginner friendly it is so easy to do and i think it's going to give a nice feel for my kitchen i'm planning on putting it right over there and putting my utensils in it so let me um put my utensils in it and i'll let you see what it looks like okay right. here it is right here beside the stove i love how it looks with my little canisters that i bought off of amazon and as you can see it definitely looks French country. It just looks so, so springy and just sweet, I think. So I will see you on Tuesday for probably, I'm not sure, it's either going to be a DIY or a little introduction to my little dog and her name. So, and then Wednesday will probably be a planner and Friday will probably be a DIY. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.